next speaker, Mr. Hong Sik Ryu, if I pronounce correctly. Uh, senior researcher, RIST Korea. Mr. Ryu received his PhD degree in steel structure engineering at Hang Young University, Korea in 2007. He has been working as researcher at RIST since 2003. He is a senior researcher of architectural and offshore research department at RIST. His primary research areas are seismic resistance performance evaluation and design method of damage controllable steel damper, structural system development and design of high-rise building with high performance steel. He developed reusable steel structure system, slim beam systems for reducing story height, steel column flat plate connection, coupling beam damper, and outrigger truss damper, and damper frame system using non-buckling brace. He has published 25 papers and conducted 32 private company research projects. He is a member of KSSC and AIK. Please welcome Mr. Ryo. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Hong Xing Yu from RIST. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to present SNS Steel. Uh, I will, uh, we will introduce the feature and characteristics newly developed SNS Steel and cases of a new developing structural system using such SNS Steel at various sites. For the of the presentation, first we shall explain the background of developing SNS Steel and characteristics of SN steel. Next, we shall discuss the results of the test that can show the characteristics of SN steel within structural members. Finally, we shall introduce the cases of applying such characteristics on site after developing various construction members using the characteristics of SN steel and testing. First, we shall talk about the background of the developing SN steel. SN steel is named derived from tight, uh, initials of steel U, which means architectural rolled steel. SN steel was newly developed as a seismic architectural steel in 1994 after Japan's Gobi earthquake. In Japan, 50% of the architect architectural steels use SN steel. In Korea, SN steel was developed after that. Currently, it is being used in many sites after it was registered with KS in 1999. The tensile strength class of SN steel include 400 megapascal and 490 megapascal class. SN steel is further subdivided into A, B, and C depending on where it is used. Class A is used on auxiliary member that do not require welding or plastic deformation performance. Class B is used on major members or other members that need welding. On the other hand, class C is used on members requiring through thickness properties such as dampers or stiffeners. The table shows comparison with other steel generally used in Korea. Steel production requires rigid control of chemical substance, and there are regulations covering the upper and lower limits of the weldability and the yielding points. In general, all we needed was to satisfy the lower limits of the yielding points for steel. This becomes a fact that significantly affects the realization of design philosophy. To summarize the characteristics of SN steel, first, a seismic properties have been improved by uh, prescribing yield ratio of the 0 0.8 or less and by restricting the upper limit for yield strength. In addition, weldability has been improved compared with existing steel by limiting chemical substances such as carbon and phosphorus and sulfur. We will then show, show you how such characteristics affect structural members. 
As you know, the deformability of the overall structure can be improved only when a building is designed in a beam collapse type rather than column collapse type. We will now show you the difference between the general purpose steel and essence steel when they are used in building in a beam collapse frame. First, the test specimen have a span of the uh, 5.4 meter and 2.4 meter. There are five kinds of the full size ramen structure. SM490 was uh, used on all columns, whereas SN, SS, and SM were used on beams. Letter N was insulted in the name uh, of the test specimens that used SN steel, and they were named RNA. RMB, etc. The test specimen that used remaining SS steel were named RSA and RSB, and test specimen using SM was labeled RMA. For the design of the poorly plastic moment of the column and beams, a ratio greater than one means beam yielding design and the ratio of the one or less column yielding design. This is the test specimen setup. The ramen structure of the test specimen is shown here. The lateral buckling preventive jig is installed on top of the flange. A 2,000 kN actuator is installed on top end of the frame for cyclic loading. At the table above the shows the results of the tension test conducted on the steel used for test specimen. The graph below shows the dispersion of the yield strengths of SN, SS, and SM with the tensile strengths of the 400 megapascal. In the case of SS and SM, there are regulations covering only the lower limits in the strengths but none related to the upper limits. Therefore, the graph shows the pattern of the wide dispersion compared with the normal distribution curve of SN steel. Even the variation coefficient uh, was 0 0.05 in the case of the SN, in, in indicating values that they are relatively better than that of the other steel product. In the case of the RSA test specimen, even though the actual design strength of SS steel was 23.5, actual strength was 30.2. Deformation was con con concentrated on columns, even from the test specimen, because the uh, beam yielding frame was changed to column yield type. On the other hand, the RMB test specimen using SN steel showed that the deformation was focused on the beam because the beam yielding frame was realized as originally designed. This shows load displacement hysteric curve. The beam yielding frame shows relatively stabilized hysteric loop compared with the column yielding frame. It shows that if SN, is, SN steel is used, more energy can be absorbed at a level of approximately 10%. <coughs> the next plate is press formed into L-shaped angle, as shown here, and the steel tube is manufactured by welding spot. This is then welded in the form of the exterior diaphragm again and test specimen are finished for the cold press form the steel tube. This test is conducted to evaluate weldability and the formability of SN steel. As for the steel used to make test specimen, we used SN490B manufactured by POSCO and imported SN490A. A test specimen each wall made by increasing the thickness of the steel tube by 4 mm at a time uh, at a from 12 mm to uh, 40 mm. This shows the overall shape of the test specimen. Uh, one point loading was carried out 3,000 kN UTM as in the case of the simple beam test. This graph shows the loading displacement comes from 12, 16, 20, up to 40 in sequence. The red curves denote SN steel produced by POSCO and blue curves imported SM. 
almost the same performance is, is exhibited in the case of the 30. Increasing thickness, however, shows the tendency of the earlier uh, fracture. In the case of the 40 four, millimeter, in particular, a brittle fracture was denoted almost simultaneously with welding. The graph show result of the comparing the ductility of test specimen by thickness and absorbed energy. The results of tests show that even though the steel may have the same strength, members are deformed and the amount of the absorbed energy varies significantly depending on the types of the steel. Next up, we will describe the technology developed to suit architectural members by maximizing such excellent performance of SN steel and cases applying such technology on site. The first technology where SN steel was used is the story height reducing beam. Uh, in general, steel structure always has problems related to story height compared with the reinforced concrete. While the story height of the plate structure is a three meter, but uh, that of the steel structure is approximately uh, 3.3 meter because the bottom of the steel structure is placed on the beam. Since this is the part where the competitiveness of the steel structure leaves a lot of to be desired compared with the reinforced concrete, we have de developed the story height reducing composite beam. If the story height is reduced, we can expect the following effect. Enlargement excludes exclusive area, decreased total structure cost maintenance uh, fee, decrease. This is newly developed story height reducing composite beam. We call developed product the smart beam. Uh, basically, the smart beam forms a symmetric flange using SN steel. Angles are attached to lower part of the flange and small beams as, as well as floor are placed on top of them. In other words, uh, the symmetric H beam is formed into a symmetric type, as shown here, to reduce beam depth. The story height was reduced by placing the bottom inside the beam depth. The web uh, has a hole through which ducts can penetrate in using the composite effect of the concrete. Uh, this is POSCO ANC head office building where smart beam was uh, used for the first time. Since there are cultural assets, scattered around this building. The height of the building is restricted. This is a good case since even though the building was originally designed to be 11 stories for such reason, it was changed to 12 stories from 11 by designing building uh, based on smart beam. In addition, fireproofing area was re reduced by approximately 58% and other structure, structural materials were also saved. Uh, smart beam wall applied to several tens of the other sites, poorly realizing effect of the reducing story height. This is the second uh, technology applied to the steel column plate plate connection utilizing SN steel. The floor most uh, residential building being built nowadays consists of the RC plate plate. Since the plate plate itself is composed of reinforced concrete, other members also composed of RC spontaneously. In the case of the skyscraper, however, we need, we need to reduce the number of columns because the cross section of the column is increased if the RC columns are used. Therefore, we have a developed connection that can replace RC column with a, a pure steel columns and SLC composite columns and CFD columns. Steel column RC plate plate connection need shear keys that can accept a punching shear force. We, develop, uh, we have developed two types of the details. First, we used the shear head, and the second, we punched the reinforced bar uh, through steel plate, plate to play load of the shear key. Furthermore, we have penetrated the post punching steel bars to prevent post punching. After conducting gravity load test, lateral load was 
uh, test was tested and evaluated. An oil jack was installed at the bottom of the test specimen to apply gravity load and actuator it was installed on the upper columns to apply cyclic loading. We used the loading pattern presented ACI and AISC code. This is the moment story drift angle curve. The graph above indicates existing RC column play plate connection, the benchmarking test specimen. According to the ACI, when gravity load is applied at the level of the 40% of the punching strength, the story drift angle should be greater than 1.5%. Uh, per, uh, Here the red line represents this regulation. Even though RC column play plate connection satisfied 1.5% requirement, the developed connection uh, exhibited far more excellent performance. The developed connection was used on the laboratory building equivalent to three building bu three story building. <coughs> Since the span of this building is of eight meters and the purpose of the building was the laboratory, live load was extremely high. Therefore, the design condition of the prep plate were relatively complicated, but we have successfully installed prep plate on SRC composite column. The third developed technology is a coupling beam that used SN steel. Steel dampers are attached inside the coupling beam composed of steel frames so that the flexural deformation of the core wall can be absorbed by steel damper after bending vertical deformed. The purpose was to improve the seismic performance by making the damper yield first by preventing concentration of damage to specified floors and damage to core concentration, uh, core connection, sorry. The picture shows the setup of the, for the coupling beam, damper shape, and the static performance test. The damper used SN steel, which is, a na uh, which is the same as principle of a steel hysteric damper. It is principle of the flexible steep mixed system, wherein stress is concentrated by increasing steepness. The picture on the left shows a profile prior to loading, and that on the right shows a profile after loading. The strength of the shear uh, yielding damper is known to be generally high compared with that of flexure uh, yielding damper, but it is a deformability leaves a lot of to be desired. Therefore, we secure deformability by arranging the shear yielding damper in series. The final results after loading show the pattern of the cracks that have occurred on the strut edge. After conducting a uh, static performance test, we carried out dynamic performance tests using shaking table. Core walls are equally composed of reinforced concrete. Uh, this is the comparative test conducted on the damper of the generally used ice column beam and developed steel coupling beam. This is dynamic video showing the shaking table test conducted on coupling beam damper. Uh, we used a central wave as a seismic wave. The RC column beam shows a pattern of the typical shear failure after loading. If the such failure occurs on actual building, it may be impossible to reuse the bu bu building. In the case of a steel uh, coupling beam damper, Uh, in the case of the steel coupling beam damper, however, there is almost uh, no core damage because energy is concentrated on the damper. Uh, the equivalent speed of the cumulative energy until the coupling beam is uh, fractured has been entered at the level of greater than 300% uh, compared with existing ice test specimen. Converted into energy, it showed result of a large input of the 1,400%. The developed coupling beam damper will be designed and applied to the Yongsan the prime residential commercial construction site. 
The construction is expected to start at the end of the year. The Yongsan the prime residential commercial site consists of three buildings of 37-story residential housing. Coupling beam damper will be installed four places of each floor covering the entire floor. This is the Aulig damper, the last developed technology using SN steel. As you are well aware, Aulig's are used as elements designed to hold lateral force of the super high-rise buildings. Aulig dampers are used on joints uh, between Aulig truss ends and the exterior column to promote a seismic performance. The Aulig damper used the principle of the steel hysteric damper in the same way as aforementioned the coupling beam damper. Slitch wall uh, formed on the top and bottom branches to build, sorry. Sorry. Uh, the Aulig damper used the principal the hysteric damper in the same way as aforementioned the coupling beam damper. Slit walls formed on the top and bottom flanges to build dampers as well as on web play on lot of dampers. The top and bottom flanges deliver many moment and uh, whereas the web is designed to receive shear. This is, uh, the, uh, the next of pictures show the setting of the test specimen designed to test the static structure performance of the Aulig damper. The damper uh, was produced in actual size for application to actual structure. Compare it uh, with the height of the adult to help you estimate sizes. Due to the particular particularity of test, reaction wall uh, Reaction wall were used as exterior column to simulate the rigid body. The loading beam was formed using Aulig truss. Cyclic loading was performed using actuator besides loading beams. This shows load displacement, load deformation curves after test. Note that the hair cracks. Uh, on edges after flange damper or uh, web damper undergoes shear again. Uh, dynamic performance tests were carried out for the final test of the performance of the developed Aulig damper. Uh, for this test, still hysteric damper were attached to joints assuming the exterior column and beams to be Aulig truss. In addition, damp Dampress existing Aulig joint test specimen was produced as a comparative test specimen. Uh, this shows a shaking table test carried out test specimen to which Aulig dampers are attached. The L central wave was used as a seismic wave. All stress was concentrated on damper and there was no damage to the column and beams. Compared with the existing system, the developed system showed 100% improvement in equivalent speed of the cumulative energy. This means more than 300% improvement in terms of the absorbed energy. Our legal damper system was used on the 37-story Yongsan the prime commercial building. The result of the ground response analysis showed that of the design of load was reduced by 15.2%, solving the problem of the stretch concentration on the Aulig floor. A total of 12 Aulig dampers will be designed on the upper and lower ends and will be cons constructed on site at the end of the year. In closing, we would like to stress that since SN steel carries a particular performance as a architectural, structure, architectural structural steel, it will be help in building safer and stronger housing for you. Thank you very much. <laughs>